Now at three, we're talking about drug overdoses here in the U.S. hitting a record high number last year. And the CDC estimating more than 100,000 Americans died of drug overdoses in 2021. And joining us now with details on local efforts to combat the devastating increase is the DEA special agent in charge of the Los Angeles Field Division, Bill Bodner, a friend of KTLA. Good to see you, Bill. Good to see you. So let's start with the a new CDC report. What can you tell us about the overdose crisis on, on a national level? Yeah, on a national level, we lost 107,600 Americans in 2021. Um, unfortunately, that's a record number. And, you know, when we talk about it as a number, let's not lose sight that that's our sons, our daughters, our brothers and sisters. I mean, uh, these drug caused deaths, especially uh, this current trend driven by fentanyl, that's something that has affected every community in the United States. And, you know, that, that's Los Angeles as well. Yeah, let's talk about the local problem. Uh, you do also have some information on the, uh, the death cost here. Yeah, I mean, locally, we've seen the number of drug caused deaths rise for several years in a row. And we've seen the proportion of those deaths mm -hmm. caused by fentanyl also going up. For example, in 2019, a third of our drug caused deaths were fentanyl. In 2020, half. 2021, two thirds. And we're seeing uh, the, the damage to the community increase each year. And we're really able to say that the incremental increase in, in deaths is caused by fentanyl. That's our number one threat in the community right now. You know, Bill, I think a lot of people think, oh, these these are, you know, overdoses of drug addicts or folks who are on the street. Uh, this does not, uh, you know, they basically will show up in any household. It could be a young child, it could be a very wealthy person, or it could be someone on the street. Uh, we've got to keep our eyes open. How are you sharing that information? It, it, Lou, that's such a great point because unlike any time in history in the past, we're seeing this uh, affect recreational drug users. We're, we're seeing this affect people who are just experimenting with drugs. Teenagers, some of whom are taking just one pill and that the amount of fentanyl in that pill is enough to kill them. Education is the most mm. important thing we can do right now to kind of push back against this trend. We need to make, make people aware that the pills they're buying, whether it's on social media, on the street, wherever it is, if they're not getting a pill from a pharmacist or from a doctor, it is counterfeit and it does contain fentanyl. Fentanyl is in 100% of the pills now that you're buying on the street. Once people have that awareness, my hope is that they can make more informed decisions about their personal drug use. The same is said for cocaine. A lot of times when we see these multiple <clears throat> overdose uh, events or overdose clusters, we're calling them. A lot of times that's caused by uh, a drug dealer, a retail drug dealer that mixed fentanyl with cocaine, sold it to several people. They didn't know there was fentanyl mixed with it and it kills them almost instantly. And when we oh. see three or four deaths in one event, that's what we're seeing. And again, it's, it's now recreational drug users that this is affecting. So education is a very important piece right now to make people aware of what's, of what's in the drug supply out there on the streets. There have been some well-publicized drug busts in the L.A. area over the last year. Do you feel like it's making an impact at all? I, I hope it's making an impact. And here's what I'll say about that. I mean, the number of pills we, we have seized, the number of counterfeit prescription pills containing fentanyl, it's really gone up uh, exponentially. Um, you know, last year, over three and a half million pills in one year. This year, over a million pills, 1.3, 1.5 million just in the first quarter. So unfortunately, the trend we're seeing is more counterfeit pills. Um, that doesn't bode, bode well for us, but I think we're keeping the pressure up. We have a laser focus on fentanyl. And with education and our continued law enforcement efforts, I, I'm hoping that this year we're going to be able to turn that, that trend around. And how are you guys locally uh, trying to get fentanyl off the streets? You know, we have like a, a three-tiered approach, I would call it. First, at the wholesale level, the Mexican drug trafficking organizations, the drug cartels that you hear about that are bringing these pills into the United States, into Southern California in 100,000 pill quantities, 200,000 pill quantities. We target those organizations and we try to get those mass quantities of pills off the street so they never enter uh, the user market. The other thing we do, which is so important now, is we go after drug dealers who are causing the deaths in our community. Uh, we have a program called Operation Overdose Justice, and anytime there's a drug caused death, we try to get involved, we try to trace those drugs back to a dealer, and we try to prosecute that dealer uh, with a federal drug tra trafficking charge that results in 20 years in prison. Why is that important? Because this has become really a public safety crisis. If this drug dealer who, let's say, killed two people this past weekend, if they're still on the street next weekend, what should our expectation be? 
And, uh, you know, my feeling is, our feeling at DEA is, without law enforcement intervention in these cases, the deaths are going to continue. So we have to focus on these dealers and get them off the street. Yeah. All right, Special Agent Botter, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Appreciate it. And we'll be right back.